This video was brought to you by Stoneberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We are now at Circle K, Ionity, Dahl, my regular starting point. And behind me here you see Tesla Model S Long Range. This is codenamed Palladium. Plaid is also under the codename Palladium. Palladium is the next generation uh, Model S and X after, Pla uh, after Raven. Yes, so in this video I'm going to do a range test. We actually have pretty good driving condition today. And uh, well, it's more or less the same as uh, Plaid. Wait, come on. You see in the back here, or oh, whatever, actually, you see in the front, we still have the yoke wheel here in the front, but we have wheel caps, huh? So at least the wheel caps should help for aerodynamics. So, uh, yeah, wow, it's oh man, this car is freaking dirty. Well, okay, let's get inside the car. All right, we're on the move, so wow, uh, Miosa is uh, fairly calm today, that's good. And also the road, at least over here, is uh, dry, but uh, there is a mix of uh, dry and wet patches on the road. So I have to cruise 124 kilometers per hour. It's, well, this one is a bit weird, no, no. Uh, it, it jumps a little bit up and down, but eventually it stabilizes 120. Yeah, it's not 160. <laughs> there, 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 there. That, this is more, more normal uh, reading. Wait for it, wait for it, 124. Yeah, there we go, 120. So that's what I figured out we need to drive at. So, and also look at that temperature here, seven degrees Celsius. It's almost spring now. I get the uh, get some Easter feeling now. Oh yeah, no look. Oh yeah, look at Miosa today. Nice and calm and sunny. Well, we're back at the starting point, and uh, the consumption was only 212 watt hour per kilometer. But uh, I know from uh, uh, earlier measurement that this car over-reports distance by 1.9%. So we actually have to add 1.9% to this consumption. But okay, now uh, let's do the 90 test. Right, so uh, you see that we have some wet parts and then some dry parts and then the temperature outside is actually uh, still 7, okay, it was 8 earlier, uh, but okay, so uh, now I have to cruise on 93 to match 90 GPS speed and then you see that A and C is off now, so uh, that's because I'm shooting video and I'll show you here that the microphone is here, whereas the A and C is optimized for this level here. So actually, if I wouldn't shoot video, I will turn on the ANC and it will actually sound quieter than now. So this is just the way it is. Yeah, and if I forget about it and I turn on ANC, it will actually sound louder than now. So uh, for, for, for you guys who drive the car, the sound level is better than what you perceive right now because ANC is off. Okay, let's check the weight. What? 120 kilo, okay. Well, we just have to deduct 120 kilos then. 12, uh, okay, whatever. Two thousand, wow, 2,200. <laughs> okay, that is very good. We are now around Hama. We have driven uh, quite a while. Let me check here. If you can see in trips, it's also kind of clumsy. There's no trip information here. The big, nice screen over here. We even clear up the space because of the joke. So we have to go in here <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so I've done 107 kilometers now. And look at that, 161 watt hour per kilometer. Wow, nice. So temperature over here is seven, uh, eight degrees Celsius. Okay, that helps. And it's mostly dry, yeah. I'd say around 80, 90% of the road is dry. So um, yeah, now we just have to drive back to Dar and uh, we will see what the consumption will be. Wow, Mirsa is so calm right now. So I guess that's good for consumption because the consumption right now, if you look here, I have to dig into the menu. Look at that, 155 watt hour per kilometer. Okay, it's 1.9% higher than that, but that is simply amazing. <laughs> and remember that we are talking about, I measured on uh, uh, car scanner, uh, on uh, um, uh, Scanner Tesla, I measured 711 horsepower out from the battery. This thing is blistering fast, but it also super efficient and it's winter outside. It's still eight degrees Celsius. We are back at Dahl and look at this, 154. Okay, we have to correct for distance error, but here, this one reports 186 kilometers. 
Uh, it is supposed to be 182, but um, it seems like if we go for 186, it becomes 2.2% overreporting. But then I measured in a longer test uh, to, uh, it was from Oslo, it was a 360 kilometer stretch from Oslo to Wahlberg. Then I found it to be 1.9%. So actually when the display says 186, it could actually be 185.5. Then it runs up to 186 because we don't see decimal here. So we would just go for the more accurate result in 1.9%. But okay, so I will crunch on numbers and then let's summarize. All right, we're back home now, right next to the Model S Plaid, by the way. And then, okay, so the result here shows that um, at least this long range seems to be more efficient than Plaid. But then uh, the Plaid was done on wet surface. So slightly worse uh, temperature and driving conditions. And then, yeah, because of that, we can't uh, compare them directly. But my impression is that uh, despite being very uh, powerful, you know, Plaid, it seems like the difference between Plaid and this long range uh, dual motor versus a triple motor Plaid is not that much. So that is very impressive that Tesla managed to make such a beefy car, I'm talking about the Plaid by the way, and then make it efficient. But also, this one here is also really, really fast, this long range. And still, uh, think about this, we have uh, win winter-ish conditions today. And then uh, this Model S is faster than i7 and also uh, the EQS 500 tested in Thailand in like hot or warm weather. So you can imagine once I, uh, I am able to test this car here, the long range or the plaid even, uh, in springtime and we have let's say 20 25 degrees celsius we're going to see some really impressive numbers here so uh, yes uh, this was as expected but i also not needed to test it out but also you can see that compared to eqs the beefy eqs also actually when i did the acceleration test turns out that uh, this model s here is actually as fast as the EQS 53 Formatic Plus. That one has a slightly more horsepower, but the Tesla is a lot lighter. So, uh, but then for some reason the EQS was quite thirsty, maybe because it has wider wide tires, but then uh, it's still winter tires. So uh, this really shows you how efficient Tesla can make the cars, despite being really spacious and also has lots of power. So. When it comes to the range numbers, by the way, this long range has just way, way more range than the EQS in comparison. We don't have any other similar cars to compare against because we need some kind of big car with big battery and uh, lots of space also, you know, and lots of power. So yeah, the EQS was the closest one I could find. So anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.